Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you this fall makeup look using the Morphe 35T palette, so hopefully you enjoy. I'm first starting off by prepping my skin using Max Charged Water, and for foundation I chose to use the L'Oreal Golden Beige Pro Matte Foundation, and I'm going to be blending that out using my Beauty Blender. Now I'm going to be using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to prime my eyelids and prevent my eyeshadows from creasing. I like to make sure that my base is smooth on my eyelids so I go back with a fluffy brush and just smooth it out. Now I'm going to be taking this light brown color with a crease brush from the palette and just applying that onto my crease as my transition color. And then I'm going to take a smaller crease brush using this cranberry burgundy color and applying that to my outer crease. And since the palette didn't have a black shadow in it, I'm going to be mixing a black and a dark brown from another palette and applying that onto my outer crease to create a lot of depth and just blending it into the crease. Now I'm going to be taking the single Morphe shadow and applying it to my lid. This is sort of a sh light champagne color, so any light color, apply it onto your eyelid. And now for eyeliner, I'm going to be using two. First, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Pencil Liner and applying it really close to my lashes in a thin line. And then I'm taking this pencil brush and smudging it. And for liner number two, I am taking this NYC liquid liner and applying it super close to the lashes to really define the lash line. And then I'm going to apply falsies and the ones I'm using right here are the Coco lashes and the Coco style and they are just the most beautiful lashes ever. Before applying my concealer, I'm going to make sure to brush away any fallout from the dark shadows so I have a clean base to work with. And for concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I use the shade number 1. My favorite powder to set my concealer and to bake is the Ben Nye Cameo Powder. It's just, it works for me, so that's the one that I always, always use. And now for one of my favorite parts is bronzing and I'm using this Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer. Ugh, guys, this bronzer is, it's the best. You have to try it and yeah, just take my word for it. It's amazing and I'm using this big fat brush. And to contour a little bit, I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever Contour Kit in the shade 02. It is also my favorite. As you guys know, I love Makeup Forever. And then I'm going to be using that same black pencil liner by Bobbi Brown to apply it to my bottom waterline. Now I'm going to take a tiny pencil brush and smudge that eyeliner since I did bring it lower than my waterline. And now I'm going to be taking that burgundy shade color and applying it to my bottom waterline so it looks nice and smoky down there. 
And for highlight, of course, Becca's the Champagne Pop. It is so pretty. And for blush, I'm going to be using Becca's Wild Honey Blush. And this has been my absolute favorite of, I would say, the whole year. It is just perfection. And to set everything, I'm going to be using Makeup Forever's Mist and Fix. This is my favorite one because it's alcohol-free and it's hydrating. And as you guys know, I am dry. And now for my lips, I'm going to be using Laura Mercier's Plumberry Lip Liner to outline my lips. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using Milani's, hold on, it's coming. Okay, Milani's Matte Fearless Lipstick. And this is probably my favorite drugstore lipstick. They smell so amazing and they're so buttery smooth, but still matte at the same time. Okay, so that is all for this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this tutorial. Also, don't forget to follow me on my YouTube channel for future videos. You can also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, and I will talk to you guys on my next video. Mwah.